Here's how you can make colorful dotted halftone text in Illustrator. For the text, I'm going to go with the terminal heavy font. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Let's go ahead and right click on the text, create outlines. And we're going to go to the fill and change up the color to this gray color. And let's go to the effect, blur, select Gaussian blur. I'm going to go with 8.3, click OK. And let's go to the object, rasterize. And here, make sure the background is on white, click OK. And now we're going to go to the effect, pixelate, and select color halftone. Here I'm going to try it out with 55 on max radius. And on the channel 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to try it out with 45 degrees. And click OK. So it's going to look something like this. From here, we're going to go to the image trace, go to default. Let's open up the settings. Click on advanced. And make sure to check ignore color. And click on expand. And now we have the dotted half tones. But unfortunately, as you can see, when I zoom in, the circles are kind of distorted and not all the circles are looking good. So we're going to fix this with a script. And the first thing I'm going to do is select the circle, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, create a circle. Let's go and click on expand shape, I right click on the shape, select copy. Let's select the circle and the text. And I'm going to go to the file scripts and I'm going to select a replace items. If you want to download this script, I'm going to leave a link in the description and I'm also going to leave a link with a tutorial how you can install these scripts. So I'm going to select replace items. Here I'm going to go with these settings, click OK. And let's zoom in, check this out. It managed to replace all the distorted circles with these perfect rounded circles. And I'm going to select the text and now I can apply the second script. Go to file, scripts, and I'm going to select the randomness. I'm also going to leave a link in the description with this script as well. And here all you need to do is select the fill color, click on it, and it's going to apply these default colors. I'm going to click OK. And you can go here to the properties and click on a recolor. And take a look at that. It is filled with dozens of colors. I think your computer is going to freeze to load all these colors, but be a little bit more patient. After this, we're going to simplify it. So what I'm going to do is select a color palette, which is going to look something like this. As you can see, we got 15 colors here. So when you selected all your colors, make sure to group them. So I'm going to select them all, right click and group. And I'm going to select the text, recolor. And now I'm going to go and select the color theme picker. Click on it and click on the color palette. And now as you can see, it's simplified the color palette. It removed a bunch of colors, not all of them, but now it's way more simple. You also can go and click on this change color order randomly and it's going to switch it up. Or you can go and click on the color theme picker again and click on the color palette again. And I think it customized it better. And that's how you make colorful dotted halftones here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.